So, have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been out, you've been social, and you need a ride home, but you're also hungry and delivery services are closed, or they're too expensive or too far away? Well, the idea with Munch and Move is that we combine your safe ride home with the ability to purchase your food and get it convenient and faster. Exactly. That's what our company is trying to do. We're trying to combine those two things uh, like taxi services as well as food delivery. That means that in one app you can have it all. It doesn't, you don't have to have two apps for do, those two things. We can provide both of it and we got a team of uh, reliable drivers that are going to take care of you and get you to your destination as well as the food if you need it. Uh, we're also going to have the easy to use and uh, fast feedback in our application so if you're unhappy with our services you can or, or unhappy with our drivers you can easily put it up there and we'll take care of the rest all right so here's a little bit of an overview of our management we have the hierarchy of organization at the top you have the board of advisors and the, and you have the ceo which is kind of just the higher ups of the company and then all in the middle here you have the marketing who you know, markets everything, gets everything out there, application development to make the app run smooth, have it work in the way we need it to, a statistical analysis, and then here at the bottom you have obviously the drivers, which are the employees. Uh, we, much on the move, fosters a creative environment where employees can collaborate and innovate. We believe that all employees should conduct themselves in a respectful manner to foster an effective business, so we have uh, People have consumers only continue to come back to our company. While our core team stays relatively small, the number of app developers and drivers will increase as the app covers more areas. You know, when the app starts to get a little bit bigger, obviously you need a bigger team to continue to have everything running smoothly. Uh, your qualifications, there's not a whole lot you need. Drivers need a scan copy of a valid license, obviously, so you can get on the roads legally. And you want college graduates with a degree in pertinent to marketing application development or statistical analysis are given preference for positions in those departments. So looking at the market, so we want to start out just here in Manhattan, Kansas. So based on the current population of K-State, that gives us 24,000 students that are here on the Manhattan campus. And then going back to a recent census, it was viewed that 20,000 young adults separate from the students inhabit Manhattan. So our initial target, based on a survey we handed out, we collected data that gave us the results that 23.9% of young adults use DD services regularly. So our initial goal is to capture a good portion of that 23.9%, so 10,516 people that use it regularly. And then looking at sales, so we did account that our market will change for, uh, in relation to seasons. So over the summer months, when students are gone, the market will really just be down to those 20,000 young adults. And looking at future expansion, so the future market, at, along with the survey we had, one of the questions dealt with would you utilize these services. So there are 37% of young adults who don't use these services regularly who said if they were offered and convenient, they would use them. So we want to target that 37%, which is around 16,000 people, and try to get them to use our service. So our two main competitors are uh, driving services like taxis or Uber, which is a, a big one, and then food delivery services uh, such as like Chinese takeout, uh, pizza, or Jimmy John's in good sense. Um, so with this, we kind of combine the best of both worlds. A lot of times when uh, you're a college kid in a town like Manhattan, uh, you have to organize going out to eat beforehand or having a delivery service bring you food before you guys leave. Um, so this way, you can either pick up food on, on the way there or on the way home. And usually food uh, delivery services are uh, pretty expensive, uh, roughly costing around $10. Uh, this way you can go to a place like McDonald's or Wendy's and spend roughly 4 to $5. And then this just kind of shows more of our uh, differentiation. Um, obviously, like with this uh, price, we'd be the most expensive, but it'd be... Uh, combined with the food and the taxi service, so really, you're, you're going to be saving money, you're going to be saving time, and you're going to be saving convenience. 
So looking at our financial aspect, so the way the, finance, the finances were calculated is we looked in a college town like Manhattan, the average DD service is $8, and the average kind of taxi services or Uber services, the company itself takes 20%. So we multiplied that 20% of $8, $1.60, by the goal, the target market we want to have. And then, so looking at our net income after expenses, you know, employees, what the drivers take, taxes. So we would be making $57,000 a year. Looking at year two, we're up to 73. Looking at year three, we're up to 93,000. And then for the first year total revenue before any money is taken out for drivers or other salaries, we will have over $2 million in revenue. So looking at break even months, Due to the startup cost of an app, an app is uh, costs roughly around $59,000 to start for that week we want to make, but due to our loan plan, we would pay that monthly over the course of around two years. So since the $59,000 is broken up, we would break even in our very first month. And talking about our funding, so I mentioned we did take out a loan in order to have a startup. So we were able to put forward $30,000 of our own money, and then uh, the other 55,000 came from bank loans and commercial loans. And so that cost 59,000, but we need extra money, so we had the first couple months salaries for our development teams and our CEO and our advisors. Thank you for your time. We hope you look into munching with